Hello and welcome to What the Flick. I am Christy, this is Matt, this is Alonzo, and they're going to talk about Silver Linings Playbook, which I have not seen. I'm seeing it tonight. I look forward to it. I'm hoping that you guys will uh, validate my expectations. Or not. I, I, I like it a lot. <laughs> okay. uh, it's David O. Russell, his first film since The Fighter. Um, it is the kind of movie that it, when I describe what the plot is, you're going to think, I don't want to see that. But uh, trust me, you do. Uh, Bradley Cooper plays a, a substitute teacher who's just getting released from a mental institution after having a violent meltdown when discovering his wife with another man. Uh, now that he's back home living with his parents, who are played by Robert De Niro and Jackie Weaver, he is determined to turn his life around and win her back even though she has a restraining order against him. Uh, and in the meantime, he meets a, a young widow played by Jennifer Lawrence, who has problems of her own, and she manages to convince him to join her uh, in a ballroom dancing competition. Uh, you want to <laughs> see this movie, I promise you. Check it out. Doc, I have one incident. I come home from work, and I see my wife in the shower. I pull the curtain back. So yeah, I snapped. Tiffany, this is Pat. You look nice. Thank you. Uh, on paper, this movie shouldn't work. Okay. <laughs> it sounds and the horrible. More describe it, it's, you know, it's this guy who's bipolar. That he, you know, he talks yeah, about being bipolar. And De Niro and, and is like this OCD Philadelphia Eagles fan. Right. You know, like if you move the remote control, the team will lose. And you, know? and you could describe Jennifer Lawrence's character as the standard manic pixie dream girl. Kind, kind of, of yeah, like, recovering nymphomaniac. I mean, it, this all sounds, it sounds so. Precious. It's, it's, it sounds, it sounds unbearably it sounds precious, but fun. it's but it's David O. Russell, and it's it's not. And the acting is great. The acting is great. It's not David O. Russell like the you know spanking the monkey, uh, uh, I heart Huckabees. Like it's uh, it's it's. More or the fighter, David Real Russell, where he's a lot more compassionate to the characters, yeah. uh, and and but but in a really good way. I mean, this movie is basically a screwball comedy about actual screwballs. I guess is the best way to describe <laughs> it. Because I mean, yeah, it you know there are I've already heard people complaining about how it's not an accurate portrayal of bipolar disorder, and it's not. I grant you, like this well, is. Well, I will say people in mental institutions don't necessarily look as attractive as everyone. Uh, exactly. Yeah. This this is this is a movie in which you know like th this is a Hollywood treatment of mental to illness well, right, where it's sort of wacky. They keep you know? talking about how how heavy he was and how much weight he's lost. I'm like, yeah. if you have to get locked up in an asylum and come out and look, look like Bradley, Bradley Cooper, Cooper. Yeah. sign yeah. me up. <laughs> totally. Uh, you know, I really like Bradley Cooper though when he acts. Like and he the, does in this one. Like the, he, he actually makes an effort. Yeah, you know? the best parts of Limitless are before he takes the pill. When he's mm. kind of depressed and disheveled, like, it's nice to see him in yeah. perfect. And the, he really hits a lot of levels. Like he goes really up and he's really manic and then he's really you know, down and negative, and and you see, he takes you down the road of his of his madness, and you and you understand, and you see how somebody you don't necessarily see going there yourself, but like oh god, and you see how he does a realistic to me what was a very realistic portrayal of somebody being that self-destructive, as yeah. does Jennifer Lawrence, yes. as does De Niro. I think it's yeah, one of the Niro, best things De Niro has who done has, in a long time. Uh, who has been in some real suck ass movies I don't know if anybody saw Red Lights but that's like one yeah. of the worst performances I've ever seen from him or anyone he's a blind celebrity psychic yeah oh so <laughs> terrible he's so good in this like, he reminds you oh yeah De Niro you're like great I forgot you know well let's do numbers then uh, 9.3 it is uh, a strong contender for my top 10 list this oh, year oh great uh, you know I'm going to raise my score I'm going to go to a 9 uh, I think this is a really fantastic movie this is something that Shouldn't work on paper. Right, exactly. Right? Yeah, no, it sounds so like I'm, it would I'm just be unfair. A 9.2 9. is our new. Round up. It's a 9.2. Yes, and it's 87% in Rotten Tomato Land. So this is opening in limited release. Like, they feel so good about this, they bumped it up a week, and right. then it's going to go out wider yeah. next week. Yeah. So, all right, cool. I look forward to it. Bye.